Berea, Ohio, Deshaun Watson took 15 seconds before he could summon the words to describe his emotions, knowing he would miss the rest of another season. It's very tough, Watson said before another long pause. Heard about it. On Wednesday, the Cleveland Browns announced their franchise quarterback will undergo season-ending surgery to repair a fracture in his throwing shoulder. An MRI performed Monday revealed Watson had a displaced fracture to the glenoid in his right shoulder. Team doctors determined Watson needed immediate surgery to avoid further structural damage. I'm still in disbelief. I'm still trying to process all the information, Watson said. I felt like we were turning a corner to really make a run and still believe we still will with the guys in this locker room. I just wanted to physically be a part of it. It's tough to try to wrap everything around my head right now. Watson, who will be placed on injured reserve, is expected to be back for the start of the 2024 season. He said he hopes to be able to throw again in two to three months. In the wake of Watson's injury, Browns rookie Dorian Thompson Robinson will start at quarterback Sunday against the Steelers, according to coach Kevin Stefanski. I want to give him a week where he knows he's the starter and gets a full week of preparation, Stefanski said. Thompson Robinson was forced into his first career start in Week 4 after Watson was made inactive following pregame warm-ups because of a rotator cuff strain in his throwing shoulder that ultimately cost Watson almost all of four games this season. Thompson Robinson completed just 19 of 36 passes for 121 yards and threw three interceptions in the 28-3 loss to the Baltimore Ravens. The rookie will start over P.J. Walker who has thrown for 618 yards with one touchdown and five interceptions over five games, two starts, this season. Watson's shoulder fracture occurred during the first half of Sunday's come-from-behind win over the Ravens. Watson said Wednesday he knew something was wrong with his shoulder but kept playing through it. The whole second half was painful to throw a football, Watson said. I was just pushing through whatever I was feeling. Despite also suffering a left high ankle sprain Sunday, Watson played arguably his best game in a Browns uniform. He completed all 14 of his pass attempts in the second half and led Cleveland on a winning field goal drive to defeat Baltimore 33-31. Watson said he pushed for a way to keep playing this season but was told by doctors the injury could be made worse by trying to continue throwing passes. Brown's general manager Andrew Barry said Wednesday the shoulder fracture was unrelated to his rotator cuff strain and that there was a pretty clear medical recommendation for Watson to have surgery. We are very disappointed and devastated for Deshaun, Barry said, especially given all that he has battled and gone through medically this season.